Hello, everybody, and welcome back. This is ZDS here. What the fuck? Why did that happen? No, I don't want to save, motherfucker. I was trying to jump away from the fucking ship, not into it. Anyway. Uh, highly debating, honestly, like, stopping the stupid intro for every video. Uh, and just jumping right into it like the game drums do, because... You guys read the title. You guys know what channel you're on. <laughs> I mean, it's not a fucking mystery to say, like, oh, I wonder what channel I'm on. Oh, I guess this is where I'm at, huh? Interesting. Uh, but, I don't know. It's just become so much of a habit by now that I guess I'll just keep doing it. I'm not sure. But, um, two things I want to say while we are heading through this wonderful game. One of my favorites of all time. Uh, first of all, uh, if you guys haven't checked my Twitter as of October 2nd, um, I am going to be starting my job tomorrow, which is October 3rd. Um, I'm really, really, really nervous about it. <laughs> uh, I don't exactly know the details of what I'm going to be doing at my new job. And it is rather nerve-wracking because of that, so I'm trying to think about, like, what I'm going to be doing, really, honestly. Uh... I'll find out tomorrow, and of course, I'll update you guys on my Twitter. Granted, I don't know why I talk about these things as, they're, as if they're going to be current when this video comes out. Uh, but uh, second thing I want to say also is that I helped my buddy move yesterday. Uh, the buddy that I'm going to be getting an apartment with at some point in the future. But um, since I renewed the lease to my apartment uh, for another year, it gives me more stability. Unfortunately, I still don't have high-speed internet, but whatever. But anyway, those are like the two issues I wanted to jump out first. But, um, right now, uh, okay, so we are going to get the plasma beam using the moon jump sheet. <laughs> there are three ways, four ways, technically, to get the plasma beam in Metroid Prime 1. Uh, the first route is the normal route that you would normally take in the game to go get it, uh, which is very easy, and, however, it does take a long time to get there. The second route, third route, and this route that I'm taking now are all sequence break and or cheat related routes. The second route involves a video, uh, or involves a method that you use to come through here before you even get the gravity, or the fucking Varia suit, I think. It's either, no, it's after you get the Varia suit, I think. You can do it before, but it's a lot easier to do it after, uh, where you basically come to this spot right here through the lava, and somehow you can jump from the lava right below where I'm standing and bomb jump up here without the space jump. Or with the space jump, it's one of the two, I don't remember. But um, normally you're not able to do that, so um, that's the reason that I avoid that method. Uh, but you can get that method immediately after getting the wave beam and the ice beam. So that's why it's an early method. Uh, the second method, or the third method, which is the one that I typically use when I'm not using cheat codes, is my preferred method, which I demonstrated on my main channel a few years ago, where you get the plasma beam right, uh, it's either before or after getting the gravity suit, I think it's... Uh, after getting the gravity suit, if I remember correctly. Uh, either way, um, you can go ahead and check on my main channel for that video, or I might link it in the description or a card in the corner, I don't know which. But the fourth method, which is the one I'm going to be using, is the fuck you, I'm cheating this game method. Which is a lot, it's, technically there's five methods, I guess, because you could also use the fuck you, I'm cheating this game method, uh, by, uh, the bomb slot. Oh, it's up there. Okay. I still have to do the boost ball thing. I forgot about that. But yeah, there's that method, which is basically just using action replay codes to straight up hack the plasma beam into the game. And it still counts as if you collected it, so it doesn't go against your collection total. So it's still, you will still have 100% completion, even if you cheated in. Which is typically what I do when I'm playing Metro Prime just for fun. Uh, if I'm trying to do a serious speed run, however, I never use cheat codes. But I figured in this run, eh, who cares? I'm just gonna do it anyway. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get the plasma beam earlier than normal with cheat code. Thanks for the moon jump. Now, normally you would need the spider ball. Okay. Uh, there is a method to get it without the spider ball. You can get it before Thardis, uh, legitimately, without using cheat codes, which is the way that I did it in my video that I uploaded, like I said, a few years ago on my main channel. 
and I will give you guys a temporarily quick demonstration on how to do it that way, without using Moon Jump right now. Um, the way to do it, I won't give you a demonstration probably, uh, is you, this ledge right here has a very thin platform to stand on. You go over to this area right here, use that slope to jump up to that bolt right there, and then onto the spider ball track, then onto this one, and then jump over to that door. Now, you can do it that way, and I can actually probably demonstrate it more. Oops. <laughs> yeah, also, um, make sure that you save before you do it, because if you fall down, uh, you can't get the fucking plasma beam. Uh, if you didn't save before doing this, uh, legitimately, I mind, uh, mind you, uh, you can't get the plasma beam without getting the spider ball next, so you will not be able to get it until after you beat Thardis. Oh, and the grapple beam. Forgot about that. Typically, that's what you need. You need to go all the way to, to the um, freaking phase on mines to get the grapple beam first. So what you would normally do is you would get the spider ball, then you would go get the ice beam, then you would get the gravity suit, then you would go to phase on mines and go get the power bomb, and then on your way out, you would get the plasma beam. Or not the plasma beam, the grapple beam. That is the normal, legitimate way of getting plasma beam. However, I prefer to get the plasma beam much earlier than that because, well, it completely destroys, like, the entirety of the fucking phase on mines, I'm telling you. Or not the phase on mines, but the, uh, space power base. Now, I'm just coming in here real quick to get the, um, energy tank that's in this room. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and head through the door and then end this video, get the save room and shit. But that's basically what I wanted to do here. Plasma beam like super fucking early because we got the uh, freaking boot jump now. So it's really, really easy. And to get this energy tank, it's really stupidly simple. You just gotta find these grates and shoot them with the wave beam to power them up with electric, electrical, 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 electric pull. Sorry, my stupid giant tongue in my face. Electrical energy. Why the wave beam is purple, though, I've never quite understood. I mean, I guess it's just to be consistent with the 2D Metroid games. Well, Super Metroid to be specific, but... Why they went from, like... Why the creators of this game... Uh, why Retro went from freaking The wave beam being able to travel through solid objects to being able to power electrical machinery is beyond me. See, the plasma beam and ice beam at least, you know, make sense with their elements. Because, you know, plasma is typically hot and ice is always cold. Usually cold. So, it makes sense for them to be in their respective elements. But for what, electricity? Electricity? I mean, there's magnetic waves and electromagnetic waves. But I don't think electricity itself travels in waves. Could be wrong on that. Uh, but then again, the word wave is kind of vague, so... Wave could also mean a water-based weapon, to be fair. But a wave is just a, a... Actually, no, electricity can run in waves. From what I remember from, like, physics class from my high school years, a wave is just a way for energy to travel in a regular pattern. Or a regular frequency. So it could be sound, it could be water, it could be wind, it could be electricity. Probably even be fire, for all I know. I mean, I, correct me if I'm wrong, any physicists that might be watching this. If you are, goddamn, what are you doing wasting your time doing that? But yeah, uh, just let me know if that's the case and I'm not fucking retarded and I actually remember something for once in my life. Please, that'd be very nice of you, so. Anyway, we got that, we got the energy tank, so what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna go through the back entrance here, I'm just getting to the save center that I need to get to right now. Uh, since it is below me, no, it's a, no, it's right in front of me, actually. Right over here. Alrighty, guys, that's gonna go ahead and call this a video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like for the channel, links to my Twitter and my Patreon in the description down below, supporting your ability to. And until next time, this has been ZDS, making YouTube fun one video at a time, and I will see you guys in the next video.